Hey, did you want to set up your streams to look like this? Or have a YouTube video that looks like this? Then stick around for this video to learn how to set up your very first VTubing stream. This video is brought to you by Private Internet Access. For fast, safe, secure web browsing to make it appear like you're from any country in the world, please click on the link in the video description down below. Clicking that link really helps this channel grow. We're going to start off today by downloading and installing and opening this program called OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. Links will be in the description down below. Now, once you have it installed, you're going to be asked for three options, and we're going to choose the first one, Optimize for Streaming and Recording is Secondary. And then here I would just keep the default settings. And then here it's going to ask you to link a Twitch or YouTube or another account. Um, in my case, we're, in our case, we're going to be linking a Twitch account. And then here you would just sign in and then basically it's just going to automatically link your Twitch account to OBS for you. But in my case, I already have it linked in a different version. So I'm just going to add my stream key. Now the auto configuration wizard is basically just going to go through and do some tests and basically optimize OBS for your computer to be at the best streaming experience possible. You're going to go to the plus sign and then you're going to game. And we're going to, basically this allows you to add a game window and then you're going to ask me name it. I like to name things basically what it is. So since we're adding Minecraft, I'm just going to name it Minecraft here in the properties window. I'm just going to say pick specific window and I'm going to choose the Minecraft window that's open. And then now you can resize it to fit the screen as best as possible. So what I'm doing here is actually, I'm going to do a combination of resizing the actual game window and resizing it in OBS, uh, just making sure that I don't get that weird stretching effect. So now bringing in our VTubing avatar, we're going to be using the application called VC face. If you want to know more about VC face, I actually have a walkthrough on um, how to do that somewhere that's going to appear somewhere on the top of the screen. What you're going to do first is you're going to go down in the bottom corner and you're going to click that little square button and you should see the window train change to transparent. But to add this now in the properties window, when you add the source, um, in this case, we're adding it as a game window. Make sure you check the box that says allow transparency and then move your avatar to wherever you want it on the screen. In my case, I'm just going to drag it to the bottom corner. Next, we're going to be going to stream elements overlays. Links will also be in the descriptions down below. Make sure you just link it with your Twitch account. It'll make things a lot easier. And then here we're going to create a new overlay and we're going to make it the same resolution as our canvas resolution, just to make things a lot more simple. And then you're going to go to add widget and add an alert box. And this alert box has all the default things already set for you. And you can hit the bell icon that says emulate in order to be able to just test things out. And so what I'm going to do here is just, I'm going to move it to where I want it. So in my case, I'm going to be moving it into the center of the screen. Then next we're going to be adding the chat window. With the chat window, just make sure that you can resize it, change the color, change the font. And here I'm just going to be changing the font to white with a black outline just to make it a lot easier to read. And in stream elements, copy paste the link and make sure you, that's the browser source URL that you're going to be adding. And to add these overlays to appear on your stream, all you need to do is once again, go to the plus sign, but this time we're going to add a browser source. And then you're going to make sure that you set the resolution, the height and width to the exact same resolution that you set it in stream elements overlays. And now your stream is pretty much set. What I would recommend doing is just um, opening up your game, playing it a little bit and like play with some of the alerts as you're playing, just to see how it's going to go, just to see everything working. And if it's to your liking, maybe this is where you'll be able to find out if you want to move things around. Then next to give your computer a good test run is to go into the settings. Then in the stream tab, there's going to be a checkbox that you're going to see that says enable broadcast test mode. And in broadcast test mode, basically it puts, it puts OBS into a test stream mode. It allows you to stress test your computer under streaming conditions without actually having to stream. And this is where you're going to know if you need to fine tune any of the settings or to see um, if you are dropping any frames. Now in the off chance, for some reason, if your audio sources were not detected, then all you need to do is just go to the plus sign in the sources and then add two different sources. You're going to be adding the desktop audio, audio output and audio input. For the audio input, make sure that you select your microphone. And for the audio output, I just like to select the, the default just because it'll automatically choose whatever you're hearing for you. And 
Now you should have everything that you need to have your very first VTubing stream set up. If you found this video helpful, or you want to know more about VTubing stuff, a playlist should be popping up with a bunch of cool VTubing videos if you want to learn more about it, or um, basically learn how to do more cool VTubing avatar stuff. Also, I stream on Twitch four times a week, and um, I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.